Welcome. Today we're going to be doing metric conversions. Now this concept could be very, very difficult for many, but it's actually very, very similar to the place value chart. So what we have over here all together is the metric conversion table. As you can see over here to the left, starting from the left, we have our kilometers as our largest unit, our meters is our base unit right in the middle, our decimeters right to the right of the meters, our centimeters to next to the decimeters, and millimeters as our smallest unit. Now as we know it always goes from left to right, or right to left. Our base units always meters, right in the middle. That's why at the end there's always the M. There's kilometers, decimeters, centimeters, and millimeters. Now over here there's two blanks. Now they stand for decameters and hectometers, but for today and with this grade level we're not actually going to be knowing uh, about those units. But what you do need to know is that there are units within those slots. Okay. Now when we take a look at this uh, metric conversion chart uh, we can see that we have all the different types of units of measure. Now um, when we're dealing with metric conversions, we are trying to take one unit, let's just say for example, meters, and then we're trying to relate the exact same unit and how it would be in another unit, let's just say centimeters over here. All right. Now, the key is that the measurement is going to be the exact same thing, except the number is going to be different. So if we take a look over to the right over here, we have all the different types of conversions that could possibly happen in this chart. So looking at the meter, we can know that one meter is equal to 0 0.001 kilometers. One meter is equal to 10 decimeters. One meter is equal to 100 centimeters. One meter is equal to 1,000 millimeters. This is the power of 10. So every time when we're going up in, in uh, measurements in each unit, it always takes 10 of them to get one of the next. So if we take a look over here at millimeters, it's going to take 10 millimeters to make one centimeter. It's going to take 10 centimeters to make one decimeter. It's going to take 10 decimeters to make one meter. It's going to take 10 meters to make 10 decameters is going to take 10 decameters to make 1 hectometer and 10 hectometers to make 1 kilometer. So it's always going with the power of 10 between each unit. Now if we need to go between two units from millimeters to decameters, we simply just have to multiply the other two by 10. So or by 10. So 10 times 10 is going to be 100. So it's going to take 100 millimeters to make one decimeter. And if we combine them all together, we have 100. So we have all these zeros. Now, how we do this and bringing it into questions is very, very, there's a simple method to it. And if you become very, very uh, versed in the metric conversion chart, especially using this one, it's actually very, very simple. So we have our questions over here. We have one meter equals blank centimeters. Now what we're going to do in this question is we're going to look at one meter right over here. All right, we're taking a look at the one meter. Now in our chart we need to determine where one meter is. And since it's one and we know what one meter is, it's simply going to go in the chart over here as one. So that one equals one meter. Now, in order to make it into centimeters, we know that centimeters is off to the right by two points. So we have decimeters, then centimeters over here. Now, how are we going to figure out how many centimeters there are? We're simply going to add zeros in each of the uh, boxes until the last zero is in the centimeter box. So right here, we have the number, and it reads 100. And that's how many centimeters there are in one, in one meter. So our answer over here is 100 centimeters. So we add those zeros together over here. 
So one meter, we have one meter in the meters column. We put the zeros in underneath the decimeters column and the centimeters column. And then we have our answer. Put that all together, we read the number as 100. Okay? So another example over here is 7 meters. And the question is, how many decimeters is it? Alright, so we put our 7 in the meters column. And now we're going to go over, we can see that there's only one where in the next column over to the right is decimeters. We put a 0. And our answer, answer is simply 70 decimeters. Very simple so far. We're just adding zeros to this column, so 70 decimeters. Okay, now that we've gone from a larger unit to a smaller unit, we're going to go from a smaller unit, so this time we're going from centimeters to meters, so 3 centimeters to meters. Now, it's going to be the same thing. Our question is 3 centimeters. We have that already. That is the given information. So we simply need to put, we need to find our centimeters column, which is right there, and we're going to put 3 in there. So we have our 3 labeled under the, the centimeter column. Now this time, we're going to be moving our chart to the left because we need to get to a bigger number. But we're going to do the exact same thing by filling in zeros except we're going the other way. So we have three centimeters. How many decimeters are we going to have? We're going to have zero, and then we're going to fill in all the zeros until we get to the conversion that we need to, which is meters. So we fill in two zeros. Now the difference is here, since centimeters is, small, is a smaller unit than meters, the number for meters actually needs to get smaller because meters is bigger. So since the number, since meters are a bigger unit than centimeters, we need to add a decimal to it. So if we're going to the left on this chart, we start at 3. We're actually moving decimal places between the columns. And it's going to rest over there. And we could simply do that by, of course, adding the zeros. And now that we finally reached our last um, unit, which is meters, we put the zero in and then we put our decimal. So we get an answer of 0 0.03. And that is our answer, 0 0.03. So we could add that to our answers of 0 0.03. Alright, so now we have 32 centimeters and we're looking for meters. So this time when we're looking at the 32 centimeters, we need to figure out what part to put that under. Now, or where to put the 32. Now some people may think that you have to put the 32 like this. Right under the centimeter and millimeter column. But that's not true. Now if we go back to our facts, we have to remember that 10 uh, centimeters equals uh, 1 decimeter. So if we take that, if we have 32 centimeters, we now have our, our uh, base unit of 1, and then we're in the tens unit in our place value. So we're actually going to take the 2 over here and place the 2 in the centimeters column because that represents um, the single unit. And the 3 is going to go in the decimeters column, just like in a place value chart, which equals 10 because there's 10 centimeters. And in this case, there's 3 or, or 30 centimeters, so we have 32. Now we're going to try and convert this to meters. And once again, all we have to do in our chart here, we put our zeros, and then we have a decimal, and our answer is 0 0.32 meters. Okay. So that's moving from small to big, once again. Now our next question is 8.4 decimeters, and we're trying to figure that out in centimeters. Now once again, we're looking at our base unit. There's eight. So we know that there's eight decimeters. So we have to place that eight in the decimeter column right over there. And since it's a decimal question, it's going to go smaller. So we have to put eight, and then we have to put point four, the four, in the centimeters column. So we're going in reverse as before, because we have not reached that milestone of ten decimeters. If there were ten decimeters, then the one would be placed into the meters column column. 
However, we have not reached the milestone of 10. Therefore, it is 8.4 centimeters. Uh, or sorry, decimeters. Now, when we're trying to convert it to centimeters, once again, we're moving our decimal point to the right. And it's going to go over here to the right of the centimeters. Now, when we move it, that means our point, our decimal, is going to disappear. And our answer is, therefore, 84 centimeters. Okay, and we're going to use this example again for 8.4 decimeters, and we're going to be going, uh, converting it to meters. So once again, we have our 8.4, and now our decimal point is going to move this time to the meters, and just like before, we have to add our zeros, and then our points, and our point beside the 8 is going to disappear, and we have 0.84. Now, to get into larger numbers, it's going to be the same thing, 8.4 decimeters. 8.4 decimeters. And we're going to add all our zeros all the way, trying to move it to kilometers. We fill them all in with zeros. We put our decimal point. This one disappears. And we have our answer of 0 0.00084. All right, so that is basic conversions on how to use this chart. It's simply moving the decimal place from side to side, whether it's going to the right or the left. It depends on what unit you're moving from. Now, this is a key point. If you have a larger uh, unit of measure, such as meters, and you're trying to convert it down to centimeters, that unit, which is centimeters, you have to ask yourself, is centimeters, is it larger or smaller than meters? It is smaller. Now, since it's smaller, the number is actually going to get bigger. And then it's vice versa. So if you're, you have centimeters and you're trying to convert it into meters, which is a larger um, unit, you have to ask yourself, is meters larger than centimeters? It is larger, therefore your number is going to be smaller. And that's how we get our numbers of moving from 8.4 to 84. Since centimeters is smaller, we're getting a larger number. 84 is larger than 8.4. And when we're converting into a larger unit, the number is actually going to be smaller. So when we have our decimeters over here, right over here, we have a larger, we have a smaller unit, 8.4 moving to 0 0.84, and that is a small. 0 0.84 is smaller than 8.4. So this is basic metric conversions using, um, a, basically it's like a place value chart and it's very simple to use. All you're doing is adding zeros or moving the decimal place in order to understand um, where or which unit is going to be bigger or smaller.